So we're going to get to, uh, here it is. I found it. I found it. I found it. Here's the interview uh, with an influencer. Let me show you this right here. Uh, it is a Tana, Tana Mangu, I think is what it is. She has a, uh, a podcast. I think it's uh, called censored or canceled or some shit. I don't know. Uh, but listen to this. I hypothetically was just offered a lot of money to endorse a political party, like millions. And then hypothetically, you notice how she's, uh, <laughs> you notice how she's dancing around the hypothetical point, right? She's like, oh, hypothetically speaking. Yeah. Okay. Let's uh, back it up and I'll show it to you again. I hypothetically was just offered a lot of money to endorse a political party, like millions. And then I was being allegedly told an alleged list of other influencers that have already hypothetically accepted money to do those hypothetical things that I were hypothetically we offered to me to hypothetically do. I think. <laughs> Listen, sister, you do not have to keep saying hypothetically so much. It's all right. We, we catch the drift, right? We are the grift, as it were. <laughs> we, we know what you're saying hypothetically. <laughs> uh, I've been uh, postulating on air for quite some time that not only are a lot of these people being paid to support Donald Trump, that it's all fake, that we've had confirmation um, that there's fake accounts using European social influencers that copy their pictures, copy their social media pages, but they use AI and they use different uh, means to make them appear to be Trump supporters. And then they create fake accounts online, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, Facebook, to make it seem as if there's a large number of influencers supporting Donald Trump which only draws young, stupid people into the fold of Donald Trump because they see all the, oh, look at all these social media influencers. Well, shit, they're supporting Donald Trump. So I support, I'm white. I'm white. I'm a man. And, and she got nice boobies. So I support Donald Trump. If the girl with the nice boobies supports Donald Trump, it's really stupid, but that's probably what's going on. That's probably their tactic here is to blanket social media with Donald Trump support, which is not real. Because no one in their right mind would support this piece of shit. And I do say that. No one in their right mind would support this piece of shit. Uh, but let's go back to the video here, and let's see how they have the back and forth. I think we can hypothetically assume who, who those people are. But it's not one or two. Well, yeah, it's 12. No, it's like, it's like, Hundreds. That's what Tana Mojo said on her canceled podcast. Alleg hundreds. It's hundreds. I believe that it's actually thousands. I postulated on this show that I believe that there's a lot of right wing social media accounts on Twitter that Elon is using his ownership of Twitter to make it to where it seems like those people, or to actually make it to where those people have more influence. On that social media platform. It may be the reason why. Elon Musk was afforded. The money. To actually buy Twitter. Because Elon didn't have 44 billion to buy Twitter. He had to go borrow the money to buy Twitter. All his Simpson boneheads believe. That it's possible. That Elon had that much money, but he didn't. He had to borrow it. He didn't have fucking $44 billion just laying around underneath the mattress. He had to obtain the financing. Now, what would be the incentive of doing all the dumb shit that Elon Musk has done since he bought Twitter? I don't know. Could it be... But he is using the Cybertruck as means because they're building a shitload of Cybertrucks. I don't know if you've heard this story, and I've told you this several times. They are parking 
fully produced cyber trucks in parking lots, abandoned parking lots all over the country. I wonder who the fuck is ordering and buying these cyber trucks. Just like I wonder who is buying a hundred dollar fucking wooden nickel from Donald Trump, who is buying gold shoes, gold sneakers from Donald Trump, who's buying NFT trading cards from Donald Trump. I wonder who could it be? Russia, if you're listening, it would be nice to know who it should be. Folks. I believe that it is becoming more and more clear that the reality of Donald Trump and his popularity in which we know it is all of it, every single bit of it, is a total fucking fraud. I've been saying it for a long time. I've been saying that Trump's big lie is not that he won in 2020, somehow he didn't lose, and Democrats cheating, blah, 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 yakety fucking schmackety, it'll be wild, go down there, go to the Capitol, hang my pants, all that bullshit. I could go through it once more, and we're probably going to go through it a couple times between now and the election, so I don't think I need to do it now. I believe the big lie, the really big lie, that has duped not only MAGA supporters, you know, the, 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 the real people who have been duped by this. Like, hey, he's popular. He's a good businessman. Even though his fucking social media has tanked at a time. You got to remember this, too. Like, his social media platform has fucking crashed into the earth at a time where the stock market is going the opposite direction, folks. Do you have any idea how fucking bad at business you have to be to own a huge social media platform when social media is <laughs> no, more, no more prevalent than right now in this moment and it is crashing to the earth as the stock market is soaring? Do you know how, how bad you have to be? Either that or it all has to be fucking fake, phony, and a fraud. Or both. I believe the big lie. And if you believe the big lie is not that he lost or won or whatever the fuck in 2020 is that he actually has support, popular support out there. If you believe that's a big lie, hit subscribe because we're going to be friends. Oh, we're going to be friends because we're going to talk about this a lot before and after the election. This story is going to leak out and leak out and leak out and leak out. I believe people are going to go to fucking prison over it. Funneling fu foreign money into political campaigns in this country is illegal. I don't know. If, I don't know if these fuckers know that, but it's illegal. Even if you're trying to use legal means. It could be that you catch a case for it. So I think there's going to be a lot of people, not just a couple Russians, who worked for RT, RT to dupe tenant media. As if tenant media didn't know where the Russian money was coming from. Give me a fucking break. Just like these social media influencers, and that's what she's trying to tell you, is that she knows, she knows where the fucking money's come from. Who the fuck is just going to pay someone millions of dollars over a short period of time, just to say they support a political candidate. That's fucking bonkers. That's batshit crazy. That's batshit crazy. Or is it? It's really not that crazy if you think about it. Donald Trump can't attract a crowd. He's got to have his, his rallies in small auditoriums. And he can barely fill those fuckers half full. When he's having rallies, people are walking out of those motherfuckers. And it's always the same son of a bitches that show up at these rallies. The majority of the people that show up at these rallies, same motherfuckers. So I want to know who's paying their fucking bus tickets, who's paying their plane tickets, who's paying their hotels, who's paying for the who's copping their fucking meals to show up at all these rallies. It's the same motherfuckers.
you look behind him at any rally and they've got they just play musical chairs with the same mega characters. And then they pepper in some of the local people that promise not to leave while he's talking. We have an opportunity here is what I'm saying. Even though there's a fuckery at foot, possible criminality uh, with foreign actors interfering in our, our election and the Trump campaign welcoming that foreign interference, which we know they are. He, he's always welcomed foreign influence into our elections because it only benefits him. And the reason why is because he wants to tear down American democracy. And the, 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 the person who most benefits from American democracy torn to the ground, burnt and pissed on the ashes and turned this country into a fascist nation is Vladimir Putin. He is the biggest benefactor in that effort. Yes, I'm saying it. Trump and anyone who works for Trump or anyone who's getting paid to support Trump is a Russian asset, whether they know it or not. It is Russia, Russia, Russia. And I believe that we are going to find out that 100 percent that Donald Trump is not popular. Can you imagine if I'm right about Alabama? Just think about this for a second. Let's let this sink in for a minute. I don't believe that Trump will lose Alabama. But if Trump only wins in single digits in Alabama, he might as well have lost it. Imagine if Colin Allred beats Ted Cruz in Texas. Are you listening to me? Texas. Imagine if Kamala Harris and Tim Walls beat Donald Trump and J.D. Vance in their home states. That doesn't happen in politics in this country. The reason why you pick candidates from a certain state is to win that state. <laughs> it's, not, it's not fucking complicated to understand these things. Why do you think Hillary Clinton picked Tim Kaine? She wanted to win Virginia. And the pick of Tim Walls, Kamala Harris is... Super fucking brilliant for this because she's going to win Wisconsin and Minnesota handily, which she needs. And it is likely so goes Wisconsin, so goes Minnesota, so goes Iowa. It is hard to wrap your mind around. That the majority of Trump and MAGA influence. And the majority of Trump and MAGA support is paid. But you don't quite understand how desperate Vladimir Putin is for Donald Trump to win. If Kamala Harris wins and Democrats win the House and Hakeem Jeffries is the speaker and the Democrats have the majority in the Senate, Vladimir Putin is cooked. He's done. It's over. His little mass murdering ex escapade in Ukraine where he invaded them. is over. And if he loses the war in Ukraine, he is likely done being the leader of Russia. Hell, he may just not make it through with his life. So there probably isn't any amount of money that Vladimir Putin won't steal from the people of Russia to give in support of Donald Trump winning because he knows because Donald Trump and J.D. Vance has said it out loud that they will let Vladimir Putin do whatever the fuck Vladimir Putin wants to do. I'm not just making this shit up. I'm using what's right out in the fucking open that we can see. And you should too. And you should hit the subscribe button and go fucking register to vote. What's wrong with you? And don't go anywhere.